everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy. And today I'm going to share with you my setup for February using the gorgeous Elegance Blooms collection. And I am so excited about this because like a lot of you, there is a bunch of snow outside my window. It's dreary. And looking and being a big gardener at heart, looking at all of the beautiful florals and the soft colors, and just, it's so pretty. And it's a great escape from the winter blahs out there. So I'm definitely looking forward to being able to look at all of this, uh, all of this beauty for the next month. I'm very much looking forward to it. And I did want to mention, so as we go through, I will try to point out uh, which items are from which kits. And um, I usually can remember everything. I try to take a peek um, just to refresh myself. But if, I, if I'm not 100% sure, I'll let you know. But I will try to point out what uh, came from what kit. And I did want to mention with our February kits. So with this Elegance Blooms collection, obviously we wanted to do something that had a bit of a nod to uh, February being the month of Valentine's Day, but we do not make it overtly um, full of Valentine's, of hearts and all of that. Uh, you will see the pretty blush tones in that and that kind of nods toward that feeling. But um, if you want to amp it up, we offer a separate Valentine kit, and that will have a lot of your more love motifs, your hearts, and, and all of those things that make you think more of Valentine's Day in a separate kit so that if you want to up that in, up that whole feeling of love, the month of love, you can do that using the Valentine kit um, in here. But as I mentioned, the, the collection, the Elegance Blooms collection is not overtly themed um, for the month of February. So I just want to mention that if you see some hearts and stuff like that, I've added that or it's from the Valentine kit and I will um, point that out um, as to what comes from what kit. Um, I am using a Vanderspeck planner this month. It's kind of a, a creamy, kind of a gray uh, color planner and then it has the nice beige on the inside. And the thing I like about the Vanderspecs is I can get the larger ring size. You can customize everything on it. So you can customize the outside color, the inside leather color, the thread color even. Um, and then of course you can choose your rings. I like to add a lot of dimension, a lot of layers, a lot of bulkiness to my planners. So I need the larger rings. And I love how this beige, um, tone here sets off the pretty white and the blush tones and some of those kind of peachy coral tones as well. So I kept my pocket a little bit more on the subdued side this month. Um, I didn't want it. I just, I thought I want the floral to shine through and I want the colors to shine through. So I didn't add a whole lot. It just, to me, um, this collection looked best a little bit more simple. And so that's what I did with the pocket here. I have a few things from my stash that coordinated, like the little fox was cute. These two little heart uh, clips are from my stash, as is the little coffee. And then um, the chipboard piece is from one of the memory keeping kits. And the, um, the heart die cut for journaling is from the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. The two tags that I made, this one, this card, this three by four card is from the planner add-on and this one is from the modern memory keeping kit. I turned them into tags just by snipping off the corners, punching a hole toward the top there. And then the sticker sheet from the main planner kit has these little ring reinforcer stickers. And so then I just added those on there. And so we're gonna dive in here and I have to tell you that um, really most of the pages didn't need a lot of embellishment or I didn't want, I shouldn't say need, you can add as much as you want. Um, I just felt like all I wanted to do was add some glitter dots, maybe a few die cuts. 
and I went through a lot of glitter dots. There's glitter dots on just about everything, but I just thought they went so pretty um, with the collection, so I added some of them. And that's what I've done on the tab here as well, as I've just put a few glitter dots on the front and a few on the back. I also loved adding a few little bits of black in with this collection uh, with the soft colors. I thought the pop of black looked really pretty. So again, this month I pulled my ampersand overlay uh, from my uh, minimalist planner um, and uh, my minimalist planner kit is where you can find that overlay. And I just thought that that black with those pretty pastels went really, really well. So I added that overlay. And then this section here, I use um, to keep track of my photos. So what I do is I do all my memory keeping, or my, yes, I do a lot of my memory keeping in my Daisy Planner, but I'm never, you know, I'm never caught up. So the, the best way to do that is I write down the photographs. I like to try to take a photo a day. And so I'll keep track of them uh, in this section. So you can see that here, like what I did, this one is from the doodles and dashes. So I just wrote down what photograph was taken that day. And then that way, when I go to work in my Daisy Planner, work on those layouts, I have my photographs, I have what day they go with, I just grab this and then I know uh, where to put them. So it keeps track of that for me, makes it very simple. And I decorated these, I punched a few hearts from just using an old heart punch from pattern paper. And then these cute ones with the quotes on them are from the Valentine kit. So I added those in there as well. And I love the little quote ones. And then I just stamped using one of my alpha stamps, the word photos. And then I, and I mentioned, as I mentioned, I like the little pop of black. So I used the, these three stamp sets in here. This one that has the layers, um, the love with these fun script words is from the Valentine kit. Uh, this one here is from the modern memory keeping kit. And then this one with the tag in that is from the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. So you can see where I did just a little bit of stamping in a nice crisp black on those pages. So I did that here as well. And I just like that little bit. I don't add a whole lot, but I do like the dimension of the punched hearts on there and the heart die cuts. I just thought that was really fun. So I added those on there and this just works out great for me. I just pull these, uh, when the month is done, I just pull these and set them aside. I print my photographs, keep it with these and I'm ready to go for my memory planning. And then this overlay is from the classified memory, um, the classified planner kit. A pretty overlay and then the oversized tags now I have there was two sets of these there was a set of oversized tags in the Valentine kit and if memory serves me it was these two and this one here with the hearts was in the Valentine kit and then um, these two and then another one that I'll show you in a few minutes is from the classified memory keeping kit so I love to use these in my planner um, for bookmarks or for just um, dividers in my planner. You can also use them, they're fun to use. Um, like here's one. On one of my Daisy Planner pages, this one is, is for November. So you can use them for memory keeping as well. I'll just tuck that, I've been working on trying to get caught up. So, but I made this tag or this divider, this bookmark, whatever we wanna call it, um, with two of them sandwiched together. And I go into this section here and I do my menu planning. And so what I like to do is I have this little piece here that I've typed up some of our common um, foods that we have, you know, that I have on the menu often kind of my go-to, I need to update this. I haven't updated this in a while. And then I just laminate it and then I just put it from month to month. And it's just a nice reference. If I'm totally stuck on what to make for dinner, I can look at that. But I write out my menu on here. And then on the weekly spread, I don't add a whole lot on here because I don't know yet how much I'm gonna fill it in. 
So I add a little bit, I did a little bit of stamping. I used uh, one of the little hearts and I used a blush colored stamping ink on there and then added a few other little bits of stamping, maybe little die cuts, a few stickers. And then um, that's all I will add in here. Now what I use this section for, a lot of people do all of their planning on this. I, I can't do that because I need a lot more room. I need my daily pages. But what I will do is I will sit down usually Sunday night or Monday morning and I'll plan out the week. I'll, I'll fill in major appointments or scheduled appointments or meetings, um, blocks of time for you know specific things. And then I can kind of get an overview of what my week is going to look like. And then from there, I know where I can fill in or fit in other things that I need to work on. I can figure out my blocks of time that way. And then what I've done is I've taken um, from the printable, I've cut out some of the hearts and made little tabs. And then I have video content for the week. And then as I mentioned, my menu planning. So my video content for the week, this is, um, I just ran this actually through my printer and printed that on there. And then that way, um, Fridays, I'm going to try to continue on making more videos. And so through the rest of the week, I'll work on content and then Fridays are when I will try to film them. So that's what I have on those. So you can just see I've added a few stickers, a little bit of stamping, not a whole lot. I loved um, this, like I said, this stamp in particular, I loved layering these. So the love and the script, this is from the Valentine stamp set. The you and me is from the Modern Memory Keeping. And then we go on, and again, just some more hearts, a couple of label stickers on there, a few little die cut stickers. So not a lot, just kind of kept it simple and kept it open. This notes page, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for yet. We will have to see. And then my calendar. In the calendar, I did that layered stamp again. I thought these little bow die cuts were so sweet, so I had to add those. Um, I added shipping with the puffy alphas and then layered in a bunch of the die cuts, some of these fun little um, quote heart cards, and then of course some more glitter dots. And one of the tricks that I do, so I like to take the classic vertical insert and use my, so I have this calendar in my in my planner that I have with me all the time, but then on my desk I like to have um, my daisy planner and I like to have that calendar as well and I like to have it coordinate so what I do is I take um, my classic vertical insert so just to kind of give you an idea so normally this is what the calendar looks like in the daisy planner it's completely neutral so that you can dress it up with whatever you want and it's undated as well so what I do is I take I take the, the dashboard or the divider page. Now you'll need to cut it down just a teeny bit to fit, unless you, um, you do the disc system. I do it on the coil, so I cut it down a little bit and I actually cover up the, um, the divider page. You could leave it, of course, but I just like to have it coordinate with all of my other um, Coco Daisy collection for the month. So I cut it down, I put it on there and then I also do the same with the calendar page. And instead of completely rethinking rethinking everything and, and having to do the design over, I literally copy whatever it is that I do in my planner. So I just copy that. I add basically the same sort of layout, the same sort of die cuts. I may change up a few things just because of size, but I basically keep it the same. Keeps it simple. Um, I've already gone through the process with the design and everything. So why not just keep it the same? And so that is what I do with my daisy planner for my calendar using the classic vertical inserts. And then you have your plan ahead section. And then um, oh, I have a couple things. Didn't stick down really well. So this is a card from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit and I layered some of the hearts on that. And then I printed out on the printable kind of a daily calendar type of thing here that I have, added a piece of chipboard. And then I love this basket weave pattern paper 
with this. I think that looks so pretty with that um, printable. And then a few little glitter, glitter dots on there as well. And then a dashboard. So when you get your daily pages, the, they're meant to be used as a two-page spread like this. So your first one obviously is just kind of kind of be this rogue extra page. So what I like to do is cover it up. If I cover it up with a dashboard, again, a few little glitter dots, a little die cut saying on there, and that was it. And then I did my stamping of my headers because the sections are not labeled, so you can customize this however you want. Um, and I did want to mention so these headers that I have stamped on here, they're, they're part of a stamp set, and there's a bunch of them. There's the days of the week, the dates, there's a hydration, um, and a, there's a whole bunch of weather, um, there's weather um, stamps as well. This stamp set we will have back in stock very soon. I've reordered that, and uh, we should have more of those in stock soon. So be watching for a little announcement on that. So then you can stamp if you don't feel like writing you can stamp and customize the sections on your daily pages. And then, oh, and then I have this cute little clothes pin on here with the heart. And it's, sometimes I'll have, I'll write out little notes of things that I wanna remember to do. And then I just clip them on the page there. And then I took a couple of the four by six note cards. The one has the calendar. This one has this pretty saying. And I added those um, together and turned them into a tag. Again, using the little ring reinforcer um, stickers, a few little die cuts on there. And this is nice to have just because then the calendar is right with me each day. So these items I have in my section open every day. This part I don't, I put that back under a few days. But this section here I have with me each day. So there is that. And then I printed this out um, this little goal section on a printable. This is a card from the planner add-on. And then I added the little chipboard heart on there. I added another little chipboard heart and evidently I was in a hurry when I glued everything. <laughs> so I have to go back, glue that a little bit more. The little love, uh, rose gold love is from my stash. But little chipboard, some of the little um, die cut phrases, you'll see I used those. A um, little sticker, some of the pattern paper. And then on this, my pocket that I use for my stickers, this is actually one of the pieces of paper from the, one of the 12 by 12 pieces of paper for February. We have some of the 12 by 12 paper and some of the scrapbooking kits that have the paper included with them still available. So I think we have a few of those still left in the store. And this particular paper with the floral um, outline, it kind of goes around the edge and then the basket weave in the light blue, that is exclusive to the 12 by 12 papers. You're not gonna see that in the planner paper or the memory keeping paper. But I just thought it was so pretty that I turned that into um, my pocket. I just layered some of the hearts, another little die cut and a piece of chipboard. And then I did the same here some of the um, the pretty floral um, die cuts, one of the little hearts, and then the coffee is always a good idea, little chipboard. And then this little Simon holding the little bouquet, I can't remember exactly if he's from last year or the year before, but he was in one of our Valentine kits. And then I just add my little stickers in there that I use every day. So I have that in my pocket. This is one of the other um, oversized tags from the classified memory keeping kit. I added a few little glitter dots, one of the little phrase stickers. And then um, I think this was either from one of the traveler's notebook cards, uh, traveler's notebook memory keeping cards, or it was a dashboard. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was, but I just cut that out to fit the back of the tag. Glitter dots, of course, um, a little phrase sticker. And then I put uh, just a few of my uh, sticky notes on there so they're handy. And I don't have to use the whole stack. I can just put a few on there. And then I loved just kind of layering in this pretty heavy acrylic little quote card. 
And again, it has that touch of that um, heavy black that I think is so pretty with these pastels. And that says, love this life. And that was part of the classified planner edition. And then one of our dashboards. Now our dashboards come in both the um, A5 size and the personal size. And so this is one of the A5, added a few little glitter dots, and that's it. I just thought it was so pretty all on its own. And I just added one of the printables. And so this is just for a list. This is just for notes or to-dos or whatever I want to do for the month if I need to write some things down that I don't want to forget. So I just have that list in there. And then I have this plastic sleeve. Now, we had these plastic sleeves in the December kit in the main planner. And so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So coming out in April, we are gonna have these sleeves again, but we made them just a little bit bigger. So the larger, um, the larger sticker sheets will actually fit in these. So I'm, ha I'm thrilled about that. So there's a lot of uses that you can use these for, but we did make them just a little bit bigger and they will be in the April kit. Uh, so be looking for that. So what I did is I took in the uh, two memory keeping kits for February, we had these adorable um, little heart-shaped adhesive backed pockets. So if I take out the little love, you can see it's a little heart-shaped pocket and it has that little grid pocket on the front of that. So I stuck that on this one, and then in the pocket, I took that cute little acrylic love, and that is from the um, Modern Memory Keeping Kit, and I just tucked that in there. I thought it was just cute. And then what I do is, as I said, I use some of those classic vertical inserts in my daisy planner, and then I use these I cut these down because they make, they're so great for lists. I love the lined pages, I love the striped pages. And so I cut these down to fit in my little plastic sleeve and then I've got extra, um, extra notes for, um, note pieces for list taking. And I like to do that just because sometimes you need a long list. You need something a little longer than the notepad. Um, and so I, I take those and I cut them down and I put them in there. And I started doing that at Christmas time just because you have so many lists that you make at Christmas time and I liked it so much so I just continued to, to do that. And our cute little Simon with the heart, that is from the Valentine kit. And then this is just one of the dashboards but it has this beautiful grid section here which is makes it easy to write on. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for some sort of list, if I'm gonna add something and use it as a divider. I don't know yet, but I just tucked that in there. Um, and I don't know, I will see what I end up doing with it. And then the rest of the daily pages. And then another one of the dashboards. And this has that beautiful stripe. This is a piece of pattern paper from the planner kit. And then this is the smaller version. This is the personal size of the dashboard. Remember, you get both. And I did um, two of them. I just sandwiched them together just to make a subdivider in this section. And then this beautiful piece of vellum. And I just tucked these in, in there just as a layer. They're just so pretty. And I just, I love the, I love layers. So I just kind of tucked that in there. And that is from the classified planner. And then another one of the dashboards. And then these, so these magnetic clips, you can still get these in the store if you don't have one, we still have some left. But every month in the classified planner, there is a hollow backed button. And that is meant to go, because it's magnetic, it just sticks right on there. That is meant to go on the clip. So you can switch that out every single month. And then just some pattern paper. And then again, another piece of beautiful vellum. This one is from the Valentine kit. And I tucked that in over top of this dashboard. Now when I do uh, my spread for my Valentine layout um, for the day or for the week, I may move this and tuck that in and use it, um, use it there. And then this pretty uh, heart paper, this is from the Valentine kit as well. And then I wanna share with you, oh, the pen. 
So look at how pretty that looks. Isn't that beautiful? So the pen, it has the nice rose gold, and this is from the main planner kit. So that is the pen for this month. And what I did, so this one's in my planner, but then um, because my daisy planner sits open next to my desk, I wanted a pen just for that if I needed to grab one. And I took, um, and I believe this pen is either from last February or the February before. I can't remember, but it does go really well with, um, with this collection too. So if you have that in your stash, you can pull it out. And then, oh, I wanted to show you these. These are so stinking cute. So these little die cut pouches were in the um, planner add-on. It says, enjoy the little things. I don't know if you can see that. There was two of them. They have this cute little zipper top. There's two of them in the planner add-on and you can keep your little die cut stickers in there. So it keeps them all tidy because sometimes the little packages that they come in can rip or tear. And so this holds all of your little die cuts for you. Isn't that cute? So the planner add-on had two of those. And then the pouch, look at how beautiful the pouch is this month. It has the pretty rose gold, so it matches the pen. And then it has the fun little pom-pom and kind of that minty color, kind of that sagey mint color all the way around. And then the fun little um, white tassel as well. So that's the pouch for month. Look how pretty that goes with that. So that is the pouch for the month. And I think that that is everything. So this is my setup for February. I'm pretty consistent with my setup, I have to say. I, I'm very happy with how it all works for me. So I keep it pretty much the same every month. The system I've gotten down, um, I like to, you know, try and switch things up a little bit just depending on, on the product and that. But I'm just really, really happy with the system that I have. And I cannot wait to dig into this kit. Like I told you with, we um, here in Michigan, we have a storm that's possibly brewing this week. And so it's just gonna be cold and snowy. And I am so looking forward to being able to look at this beautiful artwork all month. So I hope that you have started your setups. I hope that you're having fun with it. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful colors and the beautiful artwork, and I hope that I've given you a little inspiration on how to use some of the product. And I will see you next month. Mm -hmm.